The Structure of the Brain by kscience.com. We're going to go through the structure of the brain and what different parts of the brain do. The part of the brain that we all recognize is called the cerebral cortex. So this is the cerebral cortex of the brain. The lower rear region of the brain is called the cerebellum, the cerebellum. In the lower part of the brain, we've got the medulla oblongata, the medulla oblongata, which leads on to the spinal cord, which takes neurons around the body. So remember, we've got the cerebral cortex, which forms the majority of the brain. Then there's the cerebellum, the medulla oblongata, and the spinal cord. There is a front of the brain, which is where our forehead is, and then there is a rear of the brain, which is at the back of our head. So what does the cerebral cortex do? Well, the cerebral cortex has many different regions which controls different aspects of our bodily functions. So this part of the cerebral cortex has been shown to control our speech. And if that part of our cerebral cortex was to get damaged, we would probably lose our speech. At the back of our brain is where our vision is controlled and processed. The cerebral cortex also controls our language. This is our sensory area. The cerebral cortex controls our movement, our smell, and the front part of the cerebral cortex has been shown to control our emotions and our personality. There are two hemispheres to our cerebral cortex, the right and the left hemispheres. So you've got a right side and a left side. So the right side of our cerebral cortex communicates with the left side of our body and the left side of our cerebral cortex communicates with the right side of our body. So what is the function of the cerebellum? So our cerebellum is involved in our finer muscle controls. So it's involved in our balance and posture and our fine muscle activity. So someone with a larger cerebellum or more active cerebellum can be seen in pianists because their finger muscle control has to be really, really accurate. Our medulla oblongata controls our heart rate, our breathing, and also our reflexes. So if you're gonna vomit, for example, or sneeze, that is controlled by the medulla oblongata. The spinal cord that leads away from the brain, that is a bundle of neurons that carries electrical impulses around the body away from the brain. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.